Hey, what's up everybody? We are now driving up the top of the sand hill. I was gonna show you guys a, a view from up top here where the guys are stacking up all the sand that will then be processed through the wash plant. So I wanted to show you from up here. Then we're gonna go down below and uh, I'm gonna show you how we will actually wash the sand the entire process. All right, so we're getting up here close to the top. And uh, this is where the trucks are coming up and they'll dump over close to the edge and then uh, the bulldozer will come up here and push it off the edge. It's too dangerous to have them back all the way up for now because we've gotten pretty high up here as you can see. But, uh, let me jump out and we'll take a look around. Uh, hey, you know what? I can put on my new hard hat. I told you guys I was gonna glue the GoPro to my hard hat. And look what you guys have turned me into. Even a bigger dork than I was before. So let me throw this bad boy on and we'll go walk over to the edge. All right, so here I am with my dorky hard hat on. Uh, standing up here on the edge. The guys are dumping off. You can see the wash plant there behind me. And uh, so they just back right up here to this edge and dump it off. And then Gerald uh, and his loader We'll come scoop it up and he'll run it through the plant where it gets washed and screened and processed. That's what we're gonna go look at. Let me scoop you around here so you can see. It's a little windy up here, so hopefully you can hear me, but uh, there's Gerald now down there in the bigger John Deere loader. The little one's parked. So that's our KPI wash plant. Here he comes, he's moving now. So he'll come over here and get a scoop and he'll take it over there, dump it in that hopper, it'll go up a conveyor belt, down onto a wash deck. It gets screened, and that's where the initial rinsing takes place. Then it'll drop into a tub where there's two screws, which we'll show you, uh, kind of agitate it and give the sand a bath, basically. Um, and then the screws move it on up and kind of let the water run out of it, then it'll fall on the, the final long conveyor belt there and then it'll get piled up where it dries for a day and then it can be sold after uh, 24 hours of sitting. Let all the water run out of it so we're selling sand and not water. But uh, this is what it looks like from up top. So let's go down below now and we'll go uh, and we'll check out the machinery. So everybody always asks me like, why do you wash dirt? Well, good question. Cause I never thought I'd be doing this for a living, but that's what we do. So we wash the sand because it has clay and dust on it. And I explained this in another video, but I'll do it again real quick. Wash all that stuff off. That way when the guys take it to uh, introduce into their concrete plants and mix cement and rock with it, the, uh, the dust and particles don't eat up all the water. They don't suck up all the water. Cause if they do, if we leave them in there, and yeah, I'm covering up the camera. Uh, if we leave it in there, then the dust and uh, the small teeny tiny particles will absorb all the water. Then you gotta add more water. If you add more water, you gotta add more cement. Cement is expensive, and so that's what we're trying to avoid. So we wash all that junk off, and that saves the guys uh, at the concrete plant some money. So let's go check out the actual wash plant itself. I'm gonna sit in the truck and talk for a second because it's probably gonna be pretty loud up there and you wouldn't be able to hear what I'm saying. Uh, so, see you can't really hardly see it but on the other side of that loader that's the ramp that goes up to a hopper which you'll see in a better in a second feeds in at the very top there uh, about 127 tons per hour is what's spilling into that that hopper and that drops down onto the the double screen where water is first introduced and that's where it gets screened and where the water is coming off that's actually water and any pebbles dirt debris whatever it kind of comes off there and piles up. The rest of it passes through the screen down into the tank. Uh, that's what we're gonna go look at uh, up close. You'll see it is basically just a big swimming pool for the sand and the screws are down there just turning it up, sloshing it, giving it a bath, so to speak. All the meanwhile, they, they slowly move the sand and the material up towards the, uh, the uh, discharge where it falls onto the, to the belt and then it's ready for sale after it dries for a little bit. So let's walk up there and we'll look at it up close. 
So here's the rock and clay getting washed off. Nice little pea gravel. We'll take that and process it later for a decorative gravel. And here's a, the swimming pool. So that sand on there, shaker, and then it gets dumped into the, the tank. You see it kind of bubbling out there. And those screws, like I said, are just agitating it and washing all the silts and clays off. They spill over the edge right here because there's lightweight. So we're bumping about, I think a thousand gallons a minute into here. We kind of just float off all the stuff that we don't want. You see it going over the side. It goes down to uh, a pump there and we'll explain what happens there in a little bit when we come back down. Here's the shaker. This is about how fast it's shaking. Hey, this is how I'm going to get my exercise for today. set up on an angle too obviously to keep everything kind of moving down the line then it just goes back here to the chutes we saw earlier it falls right off and goes down into the uh the holding pit that's a hopper over there comes up here, down, now we'll go look right here at these screws. So you can kind of see how they're letting a little bit of the water run down the side back to the, to the tank. Then it moves uh, somewhat dry material right up there to the discharge and then goes up the conveyor belt. All right, so we're walking up to the uh, discharge water now. I told you there was a pump down here. We've got this big old rubber line slurry pump. This is all the stuff we're washing off. So what will happen right here is in that pipe right there, this will get injected with uh, flocculant, which is basically just a fancy word for the stuff that makes all the, um, the particles, the silt and stuff fall out in the sediment pods a lot quicker. All right, so here's where the wastewater comes out. See right there? And then it all just kind of collects and piles up in this pond. And then it goes through a series of ponds and makes its way all the way back to the plant over there as, you know, reusable water. So it'll be clean by the time it goes through the series of settling ponds and gets back to the plant. And this material here, let's see if we can get closer without bogging up to our eyeballs. This material here, we have to muck this pond out occasionally, quite regular actually, because uh, this is all the crap that's coming off the sand. So you can see it just kind of building up there and you definitely don't want to step down there because you'll be gone. So they'll bring the track over here and walk around the edge of this pond and muck it out. Basically, they're just digging in this slop and they'll throw it Oh man, I'm gonna have this all over my shoes. Uh, they will throw it right over here and let it start to dry. And then we'll take that material to the landfill and use it as cover. So try to let nothing go to waste here. Uh, but that's, uh, that's the end of the road there. That's the junk we're getting off and it'll still be used and the sand's clean and everybody's happy. Did want to give a real special thanks to my buddies uh, Leon and Mr. Arthur with KPI. They've helped me out tremendously, kind of showed me the ropes and guided me through this whole process. So again, if you need anything, 
highly suggest those guys. Uh, they just, they do a fantastic job and they've been there for me no matter what. So thanks guys, I appreciate y'all. This KPI plant here will produce about a thousand tons of washed C33 concrete sand in an eight hour shift. That's getting it pretty good for this size equipment, but it fits our needs just right. And uh, it's been a great piece of equipment for us. So hope you enjoyed this little video and uh, we're gonna keep them coming.